Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a another tag video and this is called the bad and the boring tag I believe. It is created by Lisa that I am also following. I saw Annette's video and Lisa's and I really wanted to do this. Even though the tag is slightly negative, um, I think it is a good way to see what others like and don't like, you know? I think you're following. So if you don't want to watch this type of tag that is slightly negative, then I think you should click out because it's not very positive. It's really not. But there are 10 questions and then I'll try to answer them as good as I can. I'm not the best at talking, but I will try anyway, <laughs> because English is not my first language, maybe you can tell. Let's start up with the first question and that is a foundation finish you don't like. I actually have two. One out of the two is just, no way, I'm going to use that. It is a dewy foundation. I have combo to oily skin. My T-zone is extremely oily. I haven't powdered again since this morning. And I'm I'm already oily. I am wearing a satin finished foundation though. But a duo foundation is just a no-go because I am so oily and it will it will just it would look so greasy on me. And the other foundation finish that I don't really like is a matte foundation, but I like that more because my oils can go through and then it would look kind of satin finished. But a duo finish is just a no-go because I am looking like an oily mess just a few hours after I have applied my foundation. The second question is the worst mascara you have ever tried. I love a good waterproof mascara because my eyelashes really want to fall down when I have curled them. So a waterproof mascara is really important to me. I tried a waterproof mascara from W7 and I thought this is going to be nice. It's affordable. What can go wrong? Well, for once it's not waterproof for a second. It doesn't hold on to your curl and third it's a natural bristle brush I like the silicone ones more so that was just a no-go it's just so bad and it only coated my lashes it didn't uh, lengthen it didn't give them volume or anything it was just really really bad then we have the third question which is one thing you tried once and then thrown away. Oh, Felix would have gone in. Let me go get my cat. He is awake now. He can come in if he wants to. I actually don't know because I... I'm always giving my products the best chance. So I always use them more than once. But sometimes I just give up. I don't have a product in mind. But I do remember... a. A certain time where I used some products and it was just a no-go but then I just took a break from it and then I came back and they worked again because I used it differently um, so I don't throw makeup or beauty products away after one use in my head that is wasteful and I'm not a I'm not for that I do experience it often that products just don't work for me um, the most boring eyeshadow palette you own well I have one that I really don't like and that is the W7 spaced out palette. It's not pigmented, it's cool tone which I don't like and it is mm, I just don't really like it. It's not really it's not very good. The formula is very crumply and, and all the colours are the same on the eye which sucks when you can see the colour difference in the pan. So that really really sucks and it's just boring because it's all brown. Um I'm I'm I love a good neutral palette, but there are different kinds of neutral shadows uh, or colors, you know. But this palette is mostly brown and then two whites and a black. No, huh, no. But I can't get rid of it because the horror and collector in me is it's a W7 cardboard packaging palette and you can't get rid of that. Question number five, a makeup trend you think is boring and want to go away? Uh, a trend I think should go away is definitely baking and especially baking in this area right here. I don't see the point of that. Uh, I like the more neutral way it, it looks on your cheeks, you know, but if you have a straight line, it's not really neutral. 
Um, so I don't like the baking trend and my under eyes is just not up for baking in general. So that trend can go away and I will be completely fine because it just doesn't work for me. Um, and I just think it's boring to look at and I really... I'm not... I'm not up for it. I'm really not. The worst liquid lipstick you have tried is question number six. Um, hey, Scott. Look who's coming. Lucy, hi. Look at him. Mm, he's so cute. Hey, do I so? This is the most positive thing in this video, I think. But I don't really experiment with liquid lipsticks. I have tried some from W7. I've tried the soft matte lip cream from uh, NYX and then the NYX Luxury and the Li NYX Liquid Suede. Don't bite me, you... I have some liquid lipsticks from W7 that are the Glitter Pops lipsticks. They are liquid lipsticks because they dry down, you know. Um, but I don't think they're really good because if you put your lips together before it dries down, they turn glittery and then you just gl glitter lips and I don't find that a good thing for every day. So don't find them very convenient and that good. He's ruining my dress. One second. Those glitter pop liquid lipsticks are not really good in my mind because of the glitter and the kind of drying on your lips. And this thing. What color do you think is the most boring one? And that is for sure a kind of cream, beige skin toned or light skin toned color. It's really boring because they don't do anything. I don't like it on my eyelid. I don't like to set my primer anymore so I don't really find them convenient anymore. They're just not exciting. I really like some color to it. Um, bright or neutral but a cream colored eyeshadow. I don't know what I want to do with that. Maybe I, I have thought about repressing all of my cream eyeshadows, uh, you know, cream colored eyeshadows together and just use them at, at once to set my concealer or face or something because I just don't know what to do with them because I don't like to set my primer anymore. <laughs> I'm trying to distract him so he doesn't get up here because I don't want him to ruin my dress. Question number eight is what brand do you think coming out with the most boring things? Um, right now I actually only have Benefit on my mind because they only bring out bronzes and blushes um, and lipsticks for that matter. They don't really go out there and try new things but I don't really buy from them anymore because they're not cruelty free. But I think that those are the most boring ones. I don't really buy from Dior, Chanel and Lancome and stuff like that so they are kind of boring to me too but they are also really expensive so they're not really in my budget. really playful right now so I don't know if I can get to finish my video or not. I really want to finish my video. My god. My film is fatty. Not really. Hmm. Number nine. Which step in your makeup routine is the most boring one? That is definitely my eyebrows. I have said that a few times right now. I don't really like to do my eyebrows because they're just... They never... They are never even and they are just... They take so long and it's boring. I, I want to do my eyeshadows and lipstick and stuff like that, not my brows. Um, I have considered getting them tinted so they are not so difficult to be done but yeah, they're just really light. They're not this dark in real life when I don't have any gum on. Then we have the last question and then I think Felix is uh, happy about that. The 10th question is, if you had to choose between a good base and a bad eye look, and a bad base and a good eye look, which one would you choose? I would choose a 
good base and a bad eye look. I'm getting distracted if my base is not even or is the wrong color or doesn't look natural or anything. I really want that. I can always cover up and do something about my uh, eye look. But I can't really do anything about my base. Yeah, you can always use a glitter on your eyes or something. So a good base is definitely a priority for me. I'm sorry I'm being distracted, but Felix is just not corroborating right now. So that is the 10... Stop. Yeah, that is everything for this tag. I hope you found it fun. And if you want to see more tags in the future, please leave them down below if you have any that you want me to do. I really enjoy doing the tags if they are negative or positive. I know I prefer the positive, but you have to talk about the, the bad stuff sometimes. And I think that is important. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of, of course, if you want to see more, subscribe, as I just said. And until my next video, please take care. Bye. Well. Mm.